So this is Static Sift here in Morocco, where it's Egyptian land. And this is Ipanema Static Sift. It smells wonderful to be honest with you. So we're in Morocco learning a new method. In this case, we're doing static sift from fresh frozen. And so we're using an inflatable glove. So he takes a nitrile glove and we inflate it and that gives him a better control of the pressure that he's using. Has a little bounce and perhaps avoiding uh, damaging the heads. It gives him a great surface area. He says it's easier to clean a glove for him. He really likes the process. So if it works for you, it, it works for you, but I think it's a brilliant technique. And so he's using a 73 micron mesh and he collects his heads right over here. He's got his set of brushes that he likes to work with. Pull, huge pull. Huge pull. So when you start, sometimes it's a little hard to get the particles to charge, but as you move forward, particles charge a lot better. A fresh glove, for some reason, is better than a used glove. I think it probably has to do with the surface roughness affecting the propensity of the particles to charge, but heads are charging negative. Your body is ground. Parts of this glove are charged positive. Parts of this glove are charged negative. He might see some dirty parts of the glove because the gloves polarize different charges in different parts of the glove so you might collect heads in one place and contaminants in the other so he's got a little glove to take care of some problem spots the brush that you use the gloves that you use is, is that's your technique that's a personal preference thing we always recommend you find something locally because you're going to go through brushes you're going to go through lots of gloves and we've got a selection of gloves we go through a lot of gloves in this process as you can see lots of bags Lots of bags. And the mo circular motion, what that does is two things. It charges the particle and it helps decapitate. When I say decapitate, what I mean is that the stalks fall from the head. So he's just bringing everything in the middle to continue the charging process. The more you agitate, the more you charge. The longer you agitate, the higher the charge. And so he just brings it all up in the middle. And um, there you go. So you weigh the starting material and then of course to try to understand what the yields are from start to finish this is the waste and these are the heads and this is the starting material and you can appreciate the color of all three so now the process is done we're going to make a hash brick and we're going to do 50 gram uh, bricks This is fresh frozen static, lemon acai, they got their wax paper, it's almost there. Very nice. Beautiful static sift.
use hydraulic press. These are the molds that they use. Simple. You can figure it out. And this is that same process. Fantastic. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. If you found this video entertaining and you learned something today, please consider supporting us by clicking this button here. Much appreciated.